Welcome to episode two of our Rebirth Island Bot to Pro series, where I'm gonna take Tater Todd here, who's a 0.8 KD player, and over the next few weeks, I'm gonna turn him into a two plus KD player. Now, my whole goal is to help people just like you improve. So if you are looking to get better, make sure you are subscribed down below, follow along with each episode, and who knows, maybe you might just become a two plus KD player yourself. Now, in episode two here, I really wanted to get him into as many kind of war zone gunfights as possible. You know, get him into as many gunfights with his loadout guns, with 300 health, you know, with the fact that there's multiple enemies around us, with real people, and we even have the luxury of doing this on Rebirth Island. If you are subscribed, you know, the best game mode to actually start getting into more gunfights without the pressure of resurgence and stuff is Rebirth Lockdown. And here's why. We've got 300 health. It's on Rebirth. It's basically Warzone meets Team Deathmatch. So right here, you're going to see him push up top to the roof. He's going to end up going down here. But when he respawns back in, there's a little bit of a resurgence timer. There's a little bit of a timer right there that our teammates kind of bring down that timer. But he's going to go ahead and he flies right back in with his loadout guns, with his perk package, with his lethals and tacticals, with everything. So it's basically Warzone meets Team Deathmatch in the fact that we can get in as many gunfights as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing throughout, really focusing on how he approaches gunfights and what he's doing well and what he's not doing well. Next week, by the way, we're going in-game to focus specifically on pacing and decision-making and how we start to actually get more kills. Now, right here, instead of him pushing up top, and this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going in-depth on kind of all of his different gunfights. He should have just opened the door and played from right here. Instead of putting himself in a situation where he's guessing how many enemies there are, at which point you get caught from this enemy to your left side, he should have just kind of played this door right here from literally like right inside at which point he could have still downed enemy number one and then immediately challenged this enemy around the corner here and been able to win that gunfight so just a little bit over aggressive there based on not having information but we'll go ahead and obviously take that first gunfight there now what i will say here if you are using rebirth lockdown which again i would highly encourage that you start your your day off right with a quick game of rebirth lockdown or bots or something like that to get warmed up a few big things. Number one, I'm not too concerned about dying, guys. This is chaos. This It's very chaotic. You're going to get shot in the back from somebody in Narnia with a car 98 on top water tower or from somebody random. You're going to get third party. I'm more worried about like... Are you winning your 1v1s? How much damage are you taking? Which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, but really how we're winning those gunfights. Now right here, some guys are going to be low plates. That's fine. Let's go ahead and immediately challenge enemy number two. Boom. Really good job. Three things that I want to cover here. Number one, when he gets this down right here, you've got to use the throwing knife. Like, really get in the habit. And the biggest reason, two big reasons we use throwing knives. Number one is the obvious one, which is going to be we quickly get minimap pings. By the way, no minimap pings after a kill in lockdown. We have a ton of information up here, right? We got a ton of, we get UAVs throughout, but no minimap pings after the kill. So work on using your minimap, but obviously not immediately after a kill. Number two, though, is it saves ammo. So in this situation, you know, it, instead of shooting this guy, if he uses his throwing knife, he then has 24 rounds to challenge this enemy right here, which by the way, SMGs just by nature have a faster TTK than ARs. Now, really good job right here of hip firing, right? He's still able to win this gunfight even though he's in a tough spot because of that hip fire dynamic. And of course, the fact that he's hitting these high damage areas gives him that super quick TTK. I mean, if he doesn't hip fire, he doesn't hit the high damage areas, he's dead. Now, the third thing that I will say is I literally don't care that he died. Like, I, I, guy, this guy flies in, this guy drops down from nowhere. Like, I'm literally not concerned about that. I'm more concerned about the fact that he should have used his throwing knife, but he did do a good job of winning with that AR. Now, where we really start to use lockdown to get better, and this is for a, you in particular, right? Because I've already talked to Tater about this. We'll see this at certain moments throughout this gameplay. But where we really start to use lockdown to get better is manipulating our plates. So when we fly in, right, if you start off flying in, you start off with two plates, okay? So if you go ahead and you're playing lockdown and you put your third plate in, that's how you should start if you're really struggling to win gunfights. Put that third plate in. Then we're just learning how to win a 1v1 fight, okay? But now all of a sudden when we're flying into lockdown, we, we never put that third plate in, okay? So now we're always starting off minus one, which means that we are minus 50 health, okay? Then, so now we start to learn how to win gunfights when we're minus 50 health. 
health. Then all of a sudden, you know, maybe we go in, we we challenge our first guy, and then we lose one plate. Okay, well, now we don't plate up at that point. So keep in mind, guys, we lost this plate in our first gunfight. We got a kill, but we took one plate of damage. Good job winning that gunfight. Now, all of a sudden, we're minus two plates here. Okay, so we don't have these two plates in. Now... In our next gunfight that we take, we're going to be minus 100 health. And then all of a sudden, you know, let's say we win that gunfight, okay? So now we don't plate up again. We're minus three plates, which is minus 150. What this is going to do right here is start to teach you how to win gunfights when you are not full plates, okay? At that point, guys, if we can start to learn how to win gunfights when we're minus 50 health, minus 100, minus 150, then when we actually play Rebirth Island and we can put plates in, we can start to easily win gunfights because we know how to win gunfights and take less damage. That's how we can really start to use Rebirth Lockdown to become a better player and win more gunfights and put ourselves in those uncomfortable situations. Don't worry about your KD. Don't worry about how many times you die. Don't worry about unfortunate situations like this where he's kind of floating around here. He gets dropped on by a guy who has Mountaineer who's, you know, from the rooftop. Like, don't worry about this situation, guys. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more concerned about 1v1 fights and how we start to really finesse. When we talk about finessing, guys, get boots on the ground, okay? Boots on the ground. I would not recommend landing rooftops. I would always recommend landing inside of buildings. That's going to give you the most outplay potential and the most ability to finesse. But right here, using minimap, right? Really good job. Notice his two enemies up top. There's one right there. Other guys to his left side. Now watch how we track these guys, okay? We see the UAV up. So I'm tracking where these enemies are actually moving to. They're split. I would like to see him live ping just a little bit more. And these are great opportunities to really, you know, work on things like, hey, I see a dot on the minimap. I'm going to go push. Uh, you know, hey, I see this guy down below me at you know in one second here one more ping hey i see this guy down below me okay now i know i have the information i'm gonna go work on my centering and anticipation i'm gonna go find this guy and challenge him okay so this is where we start to kind of use rebirth lockdown to put ourselves in situations that will apply in rebirth one around the corner here again notice he wasn't able to quite get those guys now he's gonna push down below look at all the action down below here yep pushing in good one right here Good hip firing, good tracking. Now get out, get out, get out. There's a bunch of people behind you. Mm. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he gets landed on. So this is where like, okay, great job winning the 1v1 here. But from a, how do we use Rebirth Lockdown to improve and apply it to a Rebirth Island situation? Get out, okay? So before you get this thirst, find, find cover, right? Jump out this window, jump out this window. Maybe you thirst him as you're pushing through here. But, you know, get to cover knowing that you have so many people down below here. And then from there, we turn around. We have an angle to get this thirst here. Then we can figure out what's next next but especially even if you do wait and you get this thirst here i'm thinking about finessing at this point right let's go ahead let's finesse let's see if we can find a different angle because in rebirth you're never gonna go ahead unless you absolutely have to challenge this guy but i would have gotten out there and just tried to kind of rework that figure out how i'm gonna re-engage unfortunate though is what it is not too concerned about that really good gunfight win by him using that hip fire in that smoke just to kind of talk you through my thought process here as somebody who actually, I'm a 5KD player, guys. I still use Lockdown. I'm looking at this over here, okay? So this right here is kind of at times what I'm looking for because you have four enemies. So it's like not as chaotic as like whatever is happening over here, right? So it's not as chaotic. It's still manageable here, but it allows us to kind of finesse and really work a, a team. So that's kind of where I would be looking to land personally, but totally understand understand him landing right back in here. Play a little bit of close quarters, positioning outside. Good centering here through. Putting his crosshairs where he thinks enemies are actually going to be. Down below, good. Yeah, I'd like to see him live ping that guy. Good centering, hip firing, good. We're playing a little fast here. Holy smokes. I didn't realize I had sped it up. Okay, so close quarters positioning, guys. Not sure how many people are in here. Let's just play down low. Good shots, but I would like to see that live ping. Yeah, that's where we take advantage of that hip fire. Unfortunate. He, I think he had ended up switch swapping weapons right before. Yeah, because he was going to go play this window again here. And he swapped right about there, and then he just got caught off guard. Not too concerned about that really good win there. Hip firing with that striker on that enemy who was pushing out the bottom door.
kind of over back behind him right there. Um, so really good gunfight win in that situation. Let's go ahead and fly back in. Again, I'm looking at that F flag right there. Kind of that's where I want to be. I want to be in situations where it's not like... 90 different people. It's just like a few that I can kind of keep finessing. This is also a situation that I don't love, guys. You know, my goal is not to worry about kills, so to say. It's, it's, this is a good way to put it. My goal is not to necessarily worry about kills. It's to worry about putting myself in situations. So, like, yes, like, obviously this guy right here ends up getting away, but, like, not really the situation that I'm looking to use lockdown for. I'm more so looking to use lockdown to put myself in those head-on 50-50s. Now, he ends up getting shot from here. Good job finessing here. Let's figure out how we re-engage this. With where Tater is, I would tell him, honestly, to put in, like, one plate. Maybe, yeah, I, I would tell him to put in one plate. The other thing you can do that I actually do really like is um, is take off when you're playing lockdown. Make sure you put this back after you finish lockdown and you go in game. But put on tempered. So tempered's kind of a sweet spot because you have, you only have to put in two plates as opposed to three, and each plate's worth 75. So you kind of go into fights with with 75 health extra health as opposed to you know as opposed to you know 100 or 50 like it's that kind of sweet spot there that we can use temper to take advantage of uh you know kind of where we want to be at when challenging enemies people in tower building that you got to be careful of in lighthouse Let's see what we got here let's just watch for a little bit above good job acting on minimap info down below Think about where he's going to go, though. Back behind you. Good job centering there, re-challenging. I don't feel like he has control. He's, I feel like he really struggles, too. Good. Good job. Good job right there. Yep, especially snap into enemy number two. Track into this guy here. Notice the un-ADS there to track him. And then he's able to really recenter back on enemy number one and take out both of those guys. Good job right there. Those are the situations that we're looking for. Another one. Good. Start finessing. Go. Yeah. Good play by this guy. This guy thought ahead right here. So what he, what Tater should have done is he should have pushed out this window here, right, instead of pushing here. Because think about it. If this guy chases you, okay, it, it, which most of you guys do and most enemies do, right, if this guy chases you down the stairs, there is this window right here, right? So... Instead of trying to circle and kind of, hey, I'm hoping he's chasing, I'm hoping he's chasing, just make him keep chasing you. Because this breaks the line of sight, then this wall breaks the line of sight. Instead of, obviously, pushing right back into him here, this guy just thinks ahead and kind of thinks about where he, you know, Tater was moving to. Ends up getting caught in a bad spot right there. But I would, I would have pushed out to the left, pushed back up the stairs on the outside of this building here, and then pushed back into the building and keep finessing. Okay, let's see where we're going back in here. Definitely some good gunfight wins, but I feel like he's very out of control. One of the biggest things I would tell him here is really start to use that mini-map more. Use your mini-map throughout lockdown to figure out where people are. Yeah, a bunch of people up above you here. What level are they on? One inside of E, so let's go challenge here. Good pressure on. Nice. Biggest thing I notice right here, and again, this guy's low plates, but let's focus on the basics. Let's focus on the fundamentals. Watch the early centering right here. Watch the early centering. Notice how he's already centered around the corner here, so that as soon as he gets around this little side of the wall right here, we're able to get that enemy. And even if that guy had plates, he's probably dead there. I want you to immediately go work up. Like that's where I want him to go. I want him to immediate I want him to immediately see. I, like I want him to see this enemy and immediately go push this guy. Like that's who I want him to go work towards. Always work towards your next fight. And if you did think he was through there, then go work that direction. Did he hear that door here? The door, which is probably why he jumped out, though. Was there an enemy there? Different team, maybe? This guy obviously came from right behind him. That's unfortunate. Let's go back in. Look, guys, this is what it's all about. And, and look, play it. Don't play it. It's totally up to you. I'm sitting here telling you that it's a great way to improve. It's something that I did a lot. Um... It, Totally up to you. If you if lockdown is not out and you're watching this video, plunder is great. Land old town. Put yourself in as many gunfights as possible. Act on minimap pings. 
I think sometimes he tries to hip fire too much. I really do. Like, I think this has to be a straight ADS situation. Like, he tries to hip fire too much. And look, hip firing is accurate, but it's not always as consistent. We want to use hip firing to be able to get that first shot off. But uh, and, and to recenter if somebody like breaks our camera or something. But I just want to learn how to track enemies while ADS. So, okay, I, I'm good with that one. But like, where was the second one? There was a second. He like he like hip fired and then ADS and then I thought he hip fired again. Let me see. Let's slow this down for a second. Hip fire. Yeah, this is the one right here that he doesn't need to do. He needs to stay ADS right here to track this enemy. Because once you're on him, let, guys, let aim assist and straight, let a strafe and let aim assist do its thing. Like, just let aim assist do its thing. Push in here. Push in stairs, center around the corner. Start to clear. That's another big thing, guys, is just perfect. Slide through. Nice. It's just clearing buildings. Learning how to clear buildings and really, like, just work your way through going, is there an enemy here? No. Centering here. Is there an enemy there? No. Centering here. Is there an enemy here? Yes. Okay, I'm ready to shoot. We're ready to go. Push through. Work down. I want you to go challenge these people. Nice. He just missed shots. Should have won that gunfight. That's a winnable gunfight. 100%. Slide around this corner little bit of tough centering but this guy's centering is also off snowman yeah i think he just missed some shots there do does he win that gunfight either way because he's low plates i'm not 100 percent sure but also and if you did make it this far i appreciate it you know also just understand that you know if if you are breaking enemies and losing a gunfight and i'll give you a great example i tell people this all the time there are going to be people in the lobby who are like Oh, I just slammed that guy. I just slammed Tater Tot. I stimmed on him. I danced on him. I did all this stuff. And boom, I broke his camera. Guys, you were low plates. Like, you had no plates. Like, congratulations, dude. Really good job. Like, don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about getting slammed because you're fighting without plates. And meanwhile, people are running around like it's World Series of Warzone, plating up and, tr and stacking like their life depends on it. He's just... This guy, this guy is all over him and... He's got the superi. That could be why. That might be. But I think Tater's a little bit all over the place. He's a little perky jerky. See that little herky jerkiness right there? That's that's definitely something that I am a little bit concerned about when it comes to his tracking. Is this herky jerkiness right here? We've got to really work on being smooth, and that's where if you do have an MW3 multiplayer, you know, playing, setting up your bot lobby, right? Setting up your bots. And then you go 1.5 ADS multiplier, right? That's going to force you to really be smooth with that right stick. And this is where we get the reps. And then, of course, we apply it to this situation here. Because you can see how just like herky-jerky he is all over the place. And, you know, it's causing him to lose those gunfights. That guy... Yeah, and the guns kill so fast, guys. They kill so fast. Let's get boots on the ground here. He does end up getting a decent... I think he finishes with 19 or 20 here. So he's going to go on a nice little run at some point. Although nobody's playing the objective, which happens. I don't play the objective at all, really. To be honest with you. I just run around and... The only time I play the objective is when I see somebody in there and I try to go kill him. Good shots. I don't know if I love this build. That could be it as well. Like, this could just be a weapon comfort thing. Which, you know, he can also look at and be like, Hey, I just... I don't feel good with this weapon. You know, maybe I should be using something different. See, we're we're like notice notice we're not in the action here, right? Like I'm looking across, I'm looking at like, hey, I don't really want to fight. I don't want to worry about the people in tower. I don't want to worry about the people that are camping rooftops. Like I want to worry about the people that are over here. And notice that the lobby is people have backed out at this point, guys. People are going to usually start with like I think like 40 something. Yeah, by the time end of it, you're you're gonna get like 15, 20 people. But really, just work on those mini map pings. Or on the minimap information that you get. The weapon pings. Good shots right there. Good job acting on that minimap info. Finesse through. I think that was another enemy. Maybe not. What do we got here? Bunch of people up top. Two plates in, which I'm perfectly okay with. I would say Tater should probably have one to two plates in. Yeah, go work on this guy. Go work this guy up top here. Let's go figure out where this guy is. What are you... What, this right here. I'm going to call him out on this. Guys, what are we centering on? Right? Watch as he turns the corner here. What are we... You know what I mean? Now, 
I'd be centered right here, personally. I'd be centered right here and react to somebody in here. Okay, so th this is where we this is where we want to be centered. Let's see how he centers up top. Better, but notice that he ADSs early. Okay, this is an important lesson for a lot of you guys. Notice that he ADSs early here. Oh shit! Around the corner. So he ADSs there, right? And then he's un ADS there. Right, so he's not really ready for somebody up top here because he aimed at the wall right here. So really want to see him keep, continue to work on centering. Good job clearing right there. We obviously see these guys to our right side. Multiple, no, got to play positioning here. Got to play positioning. Trust that high alert. Trust that high alert. This this is a rebirth situation, guys. This is the situation that I want you to put yourself in. This is where like, hey, if we make a mistake here, it's not a big deal, but I still want you to play this like you would on rebirth. If you were on rebirth resurgence right now, playing trios, right? And you're challenging these enemies up top here and you get high alerted like he's getting high alerted right here. You have to react to that. You've got to react immediately to that and get out of that situation. Also, what he missed is that these guys oh, are shit. all... I, I assumed... I assumed that these guys were fighting one another. I'm going to be honest with you. So I assumed that these guys here were fighting this enemy here. It was just my assumption, which means they're separate teams. Who does he end up dying to? I think he actually ends up dying to the guy over to his right side. I don't think he dies to the guy in tower. I think he dies to the guy that's right behind him, which is enemy number two here. I guess team number two. Yeah, oh, this is exactly that. the guy. That, is he the same team as the ones across? He is. Okay, so it, it was one team. Wow, they that team had him surrounded. Had him surrounded. Okay, let's go back in. Let's see what we can find. Like I said, guys, this is the whole goal of lockdown. I love this one. This one's my favorite because we can get into control. He's going to land on this guy tower. Good. Get him out. 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 Bye. Get out. Now you get out. Yeah, shoot that body, baby. I did not teach him to do that. I promise you. He did that on his own free will. Bunch of people over this way. Bitch. Trust that high alert. Trust that high alert. You got to trust it. You got to trust that high alert. You've got to get out of this situation. You've got to kind of slide down here. Yeah, you've got to slide down the hill here and try to put yourself in a better situation here. Look, this one isn't a situation that's going to happen that often in Rebirth. But, like, I would honestly probably jump down the hill here and try to track him as I go. Boom. Try to track him as I go. Unfortunate, but we got to he died from control No, actually he died from here. Oh, but his damage he took a ton from control. Wow that guy just hit all toe shots Biggest thing I see hit here as well is he's just not quite able to piece things together And I think partially it's based on lack of information. Maybe you know not using Not getting super clean kills. Yeah bunch of people up top here. Let's go finesse these guys a little bit Nice. There's one. Push in. Use that smoke. Use that smoke. Go. Go in. Nice. Second. Where you landing, newbie? Sl mm, anticipate up top better. I know, I don't he missed land. that guy to his left. Get out. Amen. That's tough. You know what? I I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, that was that was a great yeah. sequence all the way around. Really kept pressure on well. Was constantly thinking about the next enemy. Not too concerned about the thirst at times. Didn't go chase the guy bottom control. Was worrying about the next enemy. A bunch of people up top. You know what? He ends up dying to the fifth guy while getting four kills there. Guys, that's okay. That's okay. That's a good situation right there. Flying on him. Trust that high alert. Slide through. Get down. You got to get down. You got to get down. Got to get down sooner there. That's the biggest thing. You know, great. Thirst this. I would have immediately jumped off the edge there. Yeah. Okay, let's see how we finish this up right here. Looks like that might be the end, guys. Guys, try out Rebirth Lockdown. If you did make it to the end, I very much appreciate it. Next week, like I said, we are going in-game. We are focusing on the decision-making, the pacing, the gameplay strategy component. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. And as I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.